But then how about when you they laugh, you they also cash out? How about when you they sing, you they cash out? How about when you they produce, you they cash out? So now why we just come out, come sit down, we'll discuss a lot about this, um, the business of entertainment for inside, if inside um, Nigeria, and we get no other person but to talk, any, no other person to talk about this than JB of Lagos. Fantastic man, if you ask me, in a, also in a media personality and an entrepreneur for inside the um, Nigeria entertainment business landscape. Um, you're very much welcome, Mr. JB. Thank you very much, Frank. Yeah, JB of Lagos, how you doing? How you doing? What's happening? Fine. It's a very good day, and um, okay. I'm glad so, to be here. Um, we'll, go, we'll just go straight. Um, according to International Monetary Fund, um, um, the entertainment industry for inside Nigeria, they produce um, at least 1.45% of Nigeria's GDP. And if you ask me, 1.45% of our current GDP in a massive, massive numbers. And yeah. this now, as of 2017, how much more now? Yeah. And um, um, we, if, you, if you just look, if you check the um, recreation sector, the entertainment sector, nothing less than 229 nine billion naira in revenue yeah. um if you look at if you look these numbers we say they happen you know say we don't they approach <laughs> we don't they, we, the, um, the entertainment space don't they overtake lots of different industries yeah. how you take the entertainment industry for inside nigeria at this point in time um well i think for, first of all mm -hmm. um looking at the past three four years with the internet and um digitalization of music where yeah. you have people not downloading free music anymore okay you have spotify you have digital platforms like tidal boomplay mm. audio mark apple music do you understand we have youtube and the rest of them now people make money from their streams unlike before we had veterans you know like people who used to do music back then like yeah. um give me a few names of the veterans we had we have don jazzy <laughs> we have all these guys yeah the guys yeah. who did like the time of the, the band yeah, peace square adults. yeah we had a lot of free downloads but now you know people pay for songs online for they have access to mm. you know to, to to stream it to listen to the song so basically it's, it's well expected that you know we're going to make a lot of revenue as a country and okay. you know even for the fact that the government is not really supporting or you know like kind of um you know giving out funds to creatives because that's a problem okay you understand there's a lot of talent in nigeria we have you know a lot of actors actresses we have a lot of musicians we have a lot of dancers hype men djs a lot of talent that yeah. is yet to be tapped you know but still on still, people are still doing their best, doing the most, trying to you know, project themselves to the world. So okay. it's well expected that we're going to come to this stage and Africa is going global. Like, we, we, we're already there. We're getting there. Okay, so some people, they always talk, say, okay, at this point in time, um, it's a fusion between tech and entertainment. 90, mm -hmm. um, 90 pivot, the, the business angle of entertainment. Yeah. Um, so if I'm um, a skit maker, if I'm a um, producer, if I'm in the biz, if I'm in music, um, yeah. what exactly go make me cash out? Some people talk in that tech. Um, do you agree to that? And how can people leverage on tech to make sure say, okay, at least they cash out based on their creative um, 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 was it asset? Okay, you see, um, as a creative person, first of all, you have to look at where you want to, the, the, like the, the end product, like the end of where you're going to put that particular content. Okay. Okay, if you're um, a skit maker right now, there's a lot of skit makers are making money from Facebook and YouTube by just making like, you know, a few minutes videos and, you know, you have millions of views and all that. That's right. You know, so basically, like, you have to know where your audience is and kind of like your audience, your target audience, mm. first of all, is very important. So now, if you're doing music, you should know the kind of music you're doing, your, your general, your style of music, you understand? Yeah. So, and, and basically, Afrobeat is like the... The, the major like that's really really going out of Nigeria right yeah, now. Yeah. So like if, if you yeah. yeah. So if you're looking at you have to first of all get your target audience right. You have to get where you're gonna like where exactly you want this stuff to really go to. You know, and you know, a whole lot of factors are considered too. But you no, know, when it comes to tech, yeah and music, like tech and entertainment basically generally yeah. goes together. Yeah. You know, um twenty four hours ago we I saw a tweet by McMill, the um, American rapper. Yeah. He said like his new mixtape or his new EP will be out soon. So if you don't have an Ethereum wallet you won't be able to stream it. Yeah. So, like, you know, that, that's really crypto. So, um, you, you, you cannot separate it. Like, it's, it's going the same way. It's going in the same direction. Mm. It's the technology is going the same. Like, just we have Netflix now. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. You can, you can, you see people making, grossing out millions and billions of naira. Oh, man. Yeah. If you leave exactly. you, Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so I understand you absolutely. There's a lot of money going on right now, and yeah. there's a lot of money flying on around the air, online, you understand? You know, people just make their content, and they, they get the revenue back. Their investment is very secure. Okay. You understand? So, 
Um, it, it, uh, we just have to like thank God that this very age, um, okay. we are very lucky to have what we have. Wow, fantastic one from Mr. JB. You don't hear him for their time, no deal. We know if you talk everything, we need to understand um, for the world of business and um, the business angle of entertainment. Um, my name is Fagba Frank, and if you catch me across all social media platform at Fagba Frank, if you also catch my guests, tell them where exactly they can meet you. Okay, um, follow me on um, Instagram and Twitter at Jolo Boy Graham. Uh, that's the same handle, and on Facebook as well. Uh, thank you as you do so. Please. Okay, so yeah. you don't hear from the side. If you catch them also on social media, yeah. um, time no day our side, but the good morning Nigeria show still continues. No go anywhere. And um, we will continue to de you on top. Everything we need to understand for the good morning Nigeria show.